I welcome you to Skeleton Technologies. We make ultra capacitors. And, well, the first presentation in this session already explained you what is an ultra capacitor. And I'm sad to say that they even had better pictures. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I didn't check if they had the right uh, new world record on that one, but anyways, batteries use chemical reactions to store energy. Ultracapacitors use an electric field. And this makes them faster, more powerful. But it also means there is less energy in there. And the difference between the battery and an ultracapacitor is quite a bit larger between, than between Usain Bolt and a great marathon runner. The battery holds about 20%, sorry, 20 times more energy than an ultracapacitor, but ultracapacitor is approximately 100 times more powerful. Yep. So, where do you need this kind of a sprinter, a Usain Bolt of energy storage? Let me give you one example. Uh, just five weeks ago, we announced that there will be a thousand famous London double-decker buses equipped with our ultracapacitors. These are diesel-electric hybrids, and they used to work on batteries. Quite a small battery used at a discharge rate of C17, for the ones who know. 17C, sorry. Um, and the battery lifetime was two years, although it was promised that it is seven years. Using ultracapacitors, there is a 15 year lifetime, and also they are a bit more efficient at 36% savings compared to batteries 30%. The market for the ultracapacitors is seen to grow at a useful rate. So everything is dandy, right? Everything is going well. But there is trouble on the horizon and it's coconuts. You see the carbon inside the electrode of an ultracapacitor is derived from coconut, charred coconut shell. And as you can imagine, and it's a biological source, it's not very orderly, and its capacity is limited. This has also a side effect that the cost of storage for ultracapacitors has been going down very slowly. And of course, since I'm bringing this up, we have a solution for that, and we call it curved graphene. Okay? We don't use coconuts. Instead, we use metal carbides from where we move, remove the metal, leaving behind a much more orderly carbon structure compared to that of a coconut. And this opens the door for a 40% cost reduction. So you can see, you can read this slide. Um, we have a 4 million cell capacity to produce 40 million, 4, 4 million cells and that is the equivalent of 40,000 London buses. 